I'm just working with a little man here, and he has a cranial helmet. Um, I work with these. I will work when the child has a helmet. I make sure that I'm doing a lesson with the helmet on and with the helmet off. Why? Because I have to wear the helmet usually about 24 hours a day or 23 hours a day. One of the things I wanted to point out with him is I want you to look at how this can affect vision. Good or bad, I'm just looking for you to show you how it can affect vision. Now, as he's been adjusted, they shave down the helmet. So the helmet's kind of been shrinking down. But one of the things you can see is they really have the helmet right at the brow. So guess what? If I have my hand here, he's not, he has no upper quadrant vision. It's almost like a patch. I can go all the way to something to here. So it really limits his views on vision, right? Just based off of it. Just put a baseball cap on and try and look up. You're not going to see it. So even though I'm talking, he's not looking for me right um, and then two look at where it comes on his peripheral so again two if I'm coming in over here or here right that can affect his peripheral vision now he's enjoying looking at Betsy and going back and forth like that but as you can see is as what he's mm. playing with this toy how it affects his vision right now, the thing is about babies, why is this important? Because they don't overcompensate, meaning they're not going to be like, I know Michelle was just there, where is she? I'm really going to be more out of sight, out of mind. And, you know, I just wanted to show you that. Um, is it okay if I take it off? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take it off just for you to see the difference in the way his eye works. Just making this nice. There's no good way to do it. There is that good way for everything. So now look at him. See? He can find me. See the difference? First of all, he's laying differently. Hi. And he can see me. And look at the way he can look at you. So even now when I'm doing a lesson with him, right? Now just watch the difference. Look at how he can move differently and how he's... Look at him, how he can look around. Again, I'm not saying don't do a helmet. You have to do what's best for your child and what needs to be done. However, I want you to learn that if you're going to do certain things, you're going to really high, have to attract and work with it. Because again, we're going in and out of helmet on, helmet off for this reason. I know we can come back and forth. I hope this helps you just learn more about functional vision just because a child's eyes work doesn't mean they're in a position to see right and this is just a really great example of it, it just was blocking his vision in a lot of ways and and again you can see it again the way he changes in movement and work with and without the helmet on um, incorporating just greater movements for your child thanks guys